17th century, Laycock Abbey in Wiltshire was the home of William Henry Fox Talbot. Fox Talbot was a scientist, inventor, and photography pioneer. The idea of photography came to him whilst on honeymoon at Lake Como in Italy, when he used a camera obscura and a camera lucida as aids to drawing. He wondered whether there was a way of capturing and fixing the image onto the paper. In 1834, Fox Talbot began to experiment at Laycock with a process that involved the coating of drawing paper with a salt solution, followed by a solution of silver nitrate. He would then place a leaf, or fern, or even a piece of lace onto the paper's surface and expose it to sunlight. He called the resulting negative images photogenic drawings. In 1835, Fox Talbot asked the village carpenter to make a small wooden camera, which his wife referred to as a mouse trap. In August of that year, he placed the camera containing a piece of his treated paper opposite the oriel window in the long gallery at Laycock Abbey. The resulting image is the earliest known surviving photographic negative. Soon, Fox Talbot found a means of making multiple positive images from a negative by simple contact printing onto another piece of sensitized paper. This system was called the Callotype process, which he patented in 1841, and paved the way for photographic processes on film used up until the digital age. In the nearby museum, visitors can learn how the first images were taken and what inspired their invention. The galleries show a variety of changing exhibitions celebrating Fox Talbot's legacy by showing photography as an art form. In Laycock Village, it's perhaps ironic that the birthplace of photography has become one of the most popular locations for filming period dramas. These have included the BBC television series Cranford and more recently the feature film Downton Abbey. The village is owned almost entirely by the National Trust and attracts many visitors due to its unspoiled appearance. When taking a stroll around Laycock, enjoying its warm and friendly atmosphere, it's easy to see why it's become a favorite location for production companies. The Abbey itself has also appeared in Harry Potter films and the TV series Wolf Hall. William Henry Fox Talbot would be truly amazed at the developments in photography and film since the 1800s, but would also surely be proud of his pioneering contributions in this field. Mm.